Hey guys and welcome to the deck show. So uh, this is a quick um, training uh, vlog. Uh, I'm not gonna. I, I'm still not gonna show any footage because I really don't have anybody to go with me and grab some some cool footage of my training sessions to show you. But I I would like to uh, tell you a little bit about today's training session because it went really well. And uh, despite uh, me not training since last Monday because my gym is closed Wednesday, or well, actually they closed at 12 p.m., but I sleep till uh, 1 p.m., so that's the same thing as they haven't opened. So um, I should have squatted last Wednesday, but I couldn't, so I squatted today. It didn't go very well, but I still managed to do um, progressive overload. So last time I did the squat, I did, I did it for 143 kilograms, and I managed to get uh, six reps with that shit. I was very, very pleased. Now, I was aiming to uh, add, you know, two and a half kilograms and go for the five reps. I couldn't do that today. Uh, I probably detrained a little bit. I probably detrained the motor pattern, but still, it wasn't bad at all. I managed with 145.5 kilograms to get four clean reps, and then I went for the fifth rep because it was my goal, and I was saved by my spotter. So, um, okay, so I only managed four reps, but I managed four reps uh, times two sets, so pretty cool that amount of weight and then I because I wasn't like totally ecstatic with uh, with not having reached my goal of five reps uh, I tend to do that I tend to punish myself by doing some back offsets or some rest pause work when I can't reach a goal so I did a two sets with 130 kilograms times two to add some more volume and then I dropped to 100 kilograms and did eight slow, controlled, clean reps, and I called it a day on the squat. What I, um, the, the main thing about today's training session that was really cool was, it was the first time I tried my new reactive slingshot, Mark Bell's slingshot, that piece of equipment that supposedly um, helps you with your bench press by allowing you to uh, handle heavier loads. Uh, for uh, paused for clean reps, and that's exactly what I did. I've managed to go and do some triples with uh, 80 kilograms times three, 90 kilograms times three, all paused, I mind you. And I don't usually do paused work. Maybe I should, but you know, I'm I'm doing strength training, okay? I'm not doing specific powerlifting training. I'm I'm, I'm still doing strength training. So I I, I tend to progress with touch and go reps on the bench press. Now, then I did 95 kilograms times three, and it was amazing because it was a piece of cake. That, that's my PR with 95 kilograms for touch and go reps, and I managed to do those three paws, and it was re like really easy, not even an RP of eight. Then what I did was I put 100.5 100 kilograms on the bar, which is my uh, gym max, was the most amount of weight I've ever lifted on the bench press for a touch and go rep, mind you. And what did I do? I managed to do four paused reps, which were like a piece of cake with the with the with the slingshot. So I could pro probably get one or even two reps more with 100 kilograms. Then I was so excited that I just added another 10 kilograms to the bar, 110 kilograms, lifted it like it was 90, you know, paused, paused reps. Then I put 115 kilograms on the bar, and I lifted, paused, it was a grinder, but I got it. So I added one, well, I, ha I added 15 kilograms to my gym max for a paused rep. This is pretty amazing. So that's essentially what I want, uh, wanted to share with you. And um, there's not really much I could say. The, okay, I did some PRs with the other exercises like the face pulls or and the uh, uh, V-grips, seated uh, low rows and stuff like that. I always, I, I've been managing to do 
every training session I get PRs on lots of exercises, more bodybuilding oriented or um, I should call it optional exercises, but not so optional because I want to have an all-rounded body. I don't want to be decompensated anywhere, so you really need to pay attention to your rear delt work. You know, should shouldn't focus only on powerlifting lifts. That should be the prime um, the prime movers, but not the only movers in your training session. If you want to have an all rounded base of strength and of health, so that's all I have to say. I hope this has been informative, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.